Nah, you're good. Go with that Holy Spirit. Thanks for having me here on this uh, Father's Day. I'm a proud father. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, okay, it's quite hard to pack everything down to five minutes. So I'm just going to skip for a lot of things. Um, what I wanted to really start off with was something that Paul said when, uh, when I was getting baptised. He said, we're going to bury the old man or you're going to come out a new man. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to mention about when I was a kid, I must have been like, really cute. <laughs> In a sense, I must have been one of those brown children with curly hair. I want to adopt them, you know? Well, the Ruth, it's never too late to adopt. I'm still available. Um, the thing about my childhood was I I had an unwavering and solid faith. Mm. It was complete. It was absolute. I didn't question. Not at all. I was just born that way. I couldn't understand how people don't believe in a God, you know. Um, my, my family wasn't religious. I wasn't a Christian home. I just had it in me. You know, I put myself in Sunday school. Mm. My mum was quite happy about that. Um, however, my life sort of didn't run down that course, you know. I got to 13 and everything changed. I got into drugs and drinking and for the next 30 years I just had nothing but problems. Right up until I'm 43 now. Um, I'm skipping things here but I want you to know that my life was full of broken bottles, broken teeth, broken bones a broken spirit yeah. Yeah. inside me. I had yeah. so much pain that I carried. I was depressed, I was angry, like you just have no idea how angry I was. You know, I carried so much hurt. You know, I was, I was angry at God for 10 years. I still believe in God, but I was angry at God for 10 years. The last 10 of it. And um, here's a funny part, okay? <laughs> right. When I started coming here, okay, I was not coming here to become a Christian. <laughs> I was not looking to become a Christian. I was not at all. I was coming here to support my wife. She's a Christian. That's awesome. And part of it was just wanting her to stop complaining. <laughs> I love you, baby, Neil. But it, it wasn't actually complaining. It was she would say things to me like, don't, don't you believe what's happened to me? Okay? Because she, she fell in Christ before I did. She got baptised before I did. And I, I wanted to just appease her in a way. I wanted her, her to know that I was supportive of her. And I kind of wanted her to leave me alone being angry. <laughs> Still, <laughs> disheartened. I don't know why I couldn't see it yet. Yeah, but something happened here. Okay, so um, this part's sort of a bit weird too, but on the day that it happened, oh, well, I was sitting there, you're in the lucky seat there. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the Saturday, we had argued, and it wasn't cool. And on the Sunday, church day, I wasn't happy, and I thought we were arguing all the way in, but apparently she told me she wasn't arguing. It was just me. <laughs> and I can't believe it because of how distorted my perception of things has become. I was angry and when we got to the car park, I wasn't going to come in here. Mm. I thought I was going to go and sit somewhere else and try and clear my mind. I didn't want to come in. And I had so much going on inside. And I looked at her and she was on the verge of crying and I was like, well, well, well don't cry. <laughs> You know, I can't take that now. I'm already upset, you know. And so reluctantly, I came in. Okay? But I didn't want to come in on that day. I wasn't looking to become a Christian on that day. You know, and, and, and on the walk from the car park into here, I actually went like this. I'm not going to swear. I'm not going to swear. But I went like this. I said, you effing show me something today that's for me. <laughs> you effing show me something today that's for me because I've about had enough and I'm out. I felt so messed up. I had so much hurt inside, you know? And 
while I sat here, um, and Ian was talking that day, I was just finding more and more things to be angry at. I was just hearing more things that I could argue with. It was just giving me more ammunition to be upset and not see anything that's right in front of me. And it got to the end and then he said something. What he said was, maybe you've been here before. Maybe it was a long time ago and you went away. Maybe it's when you were a child. In that moment, everything went quiet. And I started crying. I didn't want people to look at me crying in church. I was trying to cover over my eyes. And something was stirring inside me. And all these feelings were going nuts. He goes, if that's you, there's something I want you to know. It's okay to come back. That's the thing that I needed to hear. That's, right. yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. If you want to know what a miracle is, there was a miracle that happened on that day. Yeah. 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 I can tell you something because I had 30 years of pain and hurts inside of me. And in that moment, it went away. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit entered me. Amen. And I'm a person that didn't want to be a Christian. <laughs> Wasn't here for it. So I've changed my life now. I can't deny this. It might not mean anything to anybody else. It doesn't matter to me because it means something to me. Yeah. I was touched by God on that day. So I can't deny it. So I get up each morning and I hand my will and my life over to God. I say, you show me what you want me to do and I'll be there. I've turned it around now because I can't deny what's happened. I don't want to go on for too long, so. 